What up, my I'm not million. I'm back with another vlog, y'all. Another day getting to another dollar, man. Trying to make my next move my best move, you feel me? And with that being said, it's kind of a bittersweet day for the God. Bittersweet because I'm about to cancel my insurance, man. My commercial trucking insurance. Reason being is I can't get a truck. And I'm paying money on this that I could be using elsewhere, you feel me? And it ain't cheap. It's like talking about $2,300 a month. You know what I mean? So if I cancel it now, I can save myself up some cheese. And I'll be able to invest it because I need this income to be, get picked up, you feel me? I'm sorry I'm talking slow. I'm looking for this address. Um, with that being said, gee, that's, that's just what it is. Like, uh... I ain't signed the papers yet, but they are, are drawn up. I'm gonna give it a little bit more time, man. And I'm waiting to hear back from this rental company. I call, I've been calling them. They've called me and asked me if I can work with X, Y, and Z. And I told them certain things ain't gonna work. I need certain criteria that I need, you feel me? And they said they gonna keep me on the waiting list. When they come in, I got it. But, Shit, that was over a month and a half ago already. You know I mean, it's bleeding me, G. It's bleeding me dry. So, I don't know, man. Get in the comments. Let me know what y'all think. Like I said, I ain't signed the papers yet, but they are drawn up. So, whenever I decide to bust a move, I can. But the other side of the coin, why I would do that is because I can invest the cheese and advertising more of the junk move that is my money maker right now you feel me so just throw a little bit more cheese a lot of bit more cheese towards that and push the envelope you know, a lot of people saying why well, you didn't get no signs for your truck or trailer yet and i got my reasons believe me i got i do <laughs> i'll share them with you i'll share them with you when the time is right time ain't right right now but just know i got my reasons yeah, this is what it is, man. You boys out here hustling. Right now, I'm on a job for a uh, pickup and delivery. I'm waiting for the, the customer to get here. Because they got to make the purchase. I'm just the driver, you feel me? I'm the muscle. Anyway, man, how y'all day going? <laughs> y'all making money. Weather changing out towards y'all. And if so, if the weather is changing, is it going to... Is it gonna hinder business or is it, do you have things set up and in place, um, you know, to mitigate the, the cost? So like if you was able to do, I don't know, I'm just make up some numbers. If you was able to do a thousand dollars during the summer, what, is that gonna drastically drop during the fall and the winter? And if so, how do you offset that? I mean, I, mean, I know it'll help me um, and it'll, it'll help a lot of other people that watch these videos if you can share some of your wisdom, you feel me? In the comments, let, let us know how, what you do. How, how you make money when it slows up, if it slows up. Because I know it is going to slow up here a little bit, but not too much. You know what I mean, we live in the desert. We don't get too much weather change here. All right, y'all, man. Wait for the client to get here. I'll holler back in a minute, please. That on strapped in there. Left them a business card. Now we on up out of here, y'all. Off to drop off location. And then off to 
pick up the family, uh, make some runs, and y'all coming along with me, and I appreciate you for it. Hopefully I remember to come back the exact same way Turn I just came in. Turn left on Olive Street, then your destination will be on the left. Hopefully I'll come back the same way I came in. Hopefully I remember to because I just seen a few houses with a bunch of trash out in front of their crib, Joe. So definitely got to slide Your destination is on the left. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, I'm going to have to definitely go back that same way, man, because that could be some good work right there, potentially. Yeah, you know I mean? If you're in this junk removal business, man, or if you're thinking about getting into it, keep that in mind, man. You always working. <laughs> Even when you ain't working, man, you could be out going to dinner with the family, boy. You gonna keep your eyes peeled for some stuff like this. semi where I left off where at least where I left off in thought if he, even if it wasn't in words and basically what I'm on is I'm gonna have to just put that on pause and move forward with the junk removal and as well as the branding of myself and my businesses so be on the lookout for more branding materials and merchandise hey to do something you feel me and building is what i do y'all coming along for the journey and i appreciate it come on all right me and the fam just got down here too it's probably the fam and i huh the fam and i or is it me and the fam me and the fam get in the comments let me know but for now i'm gonna be on my studios the fam and i have just gotten to the outlet here. of the warehouses. <laughs> Boom, so we're gonna have to check this spot out. Definitely. Definitely. We're gonna check that spot out. We're gonna have to check, check this spot out. T shirts. And it's another spot down that way that does embroidery and uh, screen printing, I believe. So we're definitely gonna check them out. I don't need no beauty supplies, no perfumes. But the old lady may. If you don't know, she's a hairdresser and poet. She goes by the hair poet. And did you know that cosmetic palace right there got beauty supplies and perfumes? I did. You did? Mm -hmm. Oh. So is it warehouse prices or is it just regular prices? That I didn't see. Uh, Cause I would say that's, that's resale stuff potentially if they get warehouse prices. Baby, I got some in my teeth. Yeah. Where? Let me see. <laughs> <laughs> All right, baby girl. Give me a hand. Hold hands. Hey. Queen. 
Where are you going? Montana. Let me go here first. What? Yes. They made it goofy. That's why I don't really wear this one that much. Because mm -hmm. the straps, how the straps are. Oh, okay. Well, here I wear it. No, it's Okay. You just keep it on your neck like this, and you just pull it up and down. Hey, get over here. Let's see, don't do it. Come on, man. To all these stores around over there too and uh for the most part these are all stores this is a more of a warehouse type of store you can bust some deals up in there you bust it down by 12s you feel me so that's what i did i got a nice little group of 12 shirts so if y'all interested i got limited sizes and limited quantities getting these getting these comments let me know y'all interested in these shirts you feel me Probably do something like these, man. I got some more designs I'm working on too, but first up, Millie's Hall, an LLC, baby. What's well, what about this do. place that's straight ahead? Oh, yeah, let's go check it out. Let's see what they're talking about over there. Down box. Oh, they're probably reselling. Reselling stuff. Nice, right, just too. Right. The camp. That's what we should do. This the ultimate fitness center brands overstock designer clothing for much less wholesale retail. Hmm, let's check it out. Hmm, watch, we're gonna go over here and find out that's where this spot I just bought these shirts from. That's where they get their shit from. <laughs> for two dollars, yeah, they come over here and give them two dollars. That's why nice. they three off of that. <laughs> Percent off department store prices. Interesting. I wonder if I can buy something. Uh, on Amazon. How do you know what can and what can't go on Amazon? I got the app. I just scan it. Oh, it'll so let me know if it's if it's a brand. Amazonable. If it's Amazonable. <laughs> Thank you. 